With recent legislation banning the use of tobacco smoke in restaurants and bars, an effort can now be made to ban other potential hazards. Flatus, or flatulence as it is more commonly known, is the result of bacterial activity in the large intestines. The body's goal is to digest food and use it to keep your body alive. The process of digestion begins in the mouth with the chewing of food breaking down very large food molecules into smaller particles. These particles then make their way through the esophagus and into your stomach. The stomach also acts as a sort of decontamination chamber for bacteria and other potentially toxic microorganisms that may have entered your system. The lower part of your stomach, known as the antrum, controls the delivery of food to the intestines. The small intestine is designed to maximize digestion and absorb nutrients. When its journey through the small intestines is complete, 90% of the vitamins, nutrients and minerals of the food you eat are absorbed. Food will remain in the large intestine longer than at any other stage in the digestive process. It is here that billions of bacteria begin to digest those nutrients that were not already digested. The bacterial activity that takes place in the large intestine can produce numerous gases including nitrogen, carbon dioxide, oxygen, methane, and hydrogen sulfide. Let's imagine that this represents a hydrogen sulfide molecule. It would take millions of these molecules to make up the gases generated in your large intestine. The release of these gases from your anus can enter the atmosphere at varying speeds. However, once they are introduced to the air we breathe, there is very little escaping. The simple fact that you are aware of its presence means that it is probably too late for an escape. The most telltale sign of its presence is in its smell. The flatulence molecules float through the air and into your nose. Once in the nasal passages, the molecules bind to hair-like cilia that trigger neurons which pass information via nerve fibers to many brain regions where it affects thoughts, emotions, and behavior. Additionally, aside from intravenous introduction, there is no faster way for a substance to enter the bloodstream than through the nasal passages. Therefore, molecules that were moments ago in a stranger's large intestines and that have since passed through their anus are now potentially coursing through your bloodstream. Now is the time for a global ban on the release of rectal gas in restaurants, airplanes, and government facilities. Through the use of heat detecting technology, law enforcement officials can root out those that either cannot abide by the laws or those that choose to blatantly break the laws. What results is a cleaner, healthier environment. An environment where we can all breathe freely. Thank you.